What's going on, everybody? Z here, and welcome back to some more Subnautica. So today we've we got a kind of a decision to make here. So we could go fix the Aurora. We've got um, we've got our suit. We've got that. We've got the uh, we got a fire extinguisher. We got a laser repair tool. We've got our knife. We got scanners. We got all that stuff. We could go do that, or we could go over the island over there and get some base building stuff going. So I'm trying to decide what we want to do here because uh, you know I feel like okay. While I want to go over there and I want to explore that area and get the stuff and get a base going, you know what? We probably should fix the radiation because the radiation does get it starts spreading out and getting worse. So the sooner we fix it, the sooner that radiation can go away. That's probably our best bet too. So let's go ahead and let's do that. So uh, yeah, hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. Can't complain. I'm fine. I'm like really getting over the cold now. You know, like it feels good. It feels. Good. I still have a little bit of stuffiness. Still got the some some ran some drainage, but it's all right. It's not that bad. Um, okay, so let's see. Let me make sure we have everything here. We've got our knife. We got an air bladder. We got that. We got this. We got a repair tool. <gasps> oh, I don't have a laser cutter. I don't have the laser cutter. We are going to need. So if we if we don't want to go back twice, laser cutter, diamond times two, a battery, titanium, cave filter. Okay, so we need to figure out that. Okay, I just oh ugh, let's not let's, let's not consume that. Um, let's go get some diamond. Can I drop this? Okay. Let's go get some diamond and then we will go. Yeah, we got to get diamond. We got to get a laser cutter first because I want to make one trip to the Aurora and that's it. I don't want to make multiple trips to the Aurora, <laughs> but I don't have to. No, thank you. All right. So we are looking for where's the hole at? Let's see. Where are you at? There's a hole around here somewhere and we're going in the hole today. I need to go in the hole so we can get uh, so we can get our our diamond. Where is it at? It's right over here. Is it right here? Ah, poop. Okay, well, huh. I thought the hole was, the hole wasn't within the radiation zone though. Typically, well, maybe it is. I don't, you know what? I don't know. It's been so long. It's been a while. I'm looking for the hole though. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. You know what? I think, does this take us down to the same area or does this take me down? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, you know what? Life pod 17 stranded near a cave system under attack. <laughs> I bet you that's the hole that I need. Also, I want to talk about I asked I asked her amazing question in the last uh, video Subnautica about the de facto survival game. And you know what? I had a lot of people agree with me, but I also had a lot of people say Ark Survival Evolved. And you know what? I completely forgot about Ark Survival Evolved. Ark was a huge huge thing oh my gosh i remember when it first came out like i play every literally like literally everybody played it and it was such a big game it was such a big thing it was it was it was a huge thing so you know i i could you could you could be right i don't know you have to comment down below if it be if it be arc or subnautica you know like I, those are very hard games because like one's like multiplayer they're just almost different types of games too so it's like it's almost not even fair to compare them Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Cause I really like Ark Survival Evolved. Um, I kind of fell out of it though, because I think they got a little, hey, here's the cave, here's the hole. <laughs> I went the wrong way for the hole. There's the hole, we found it. Okay, so this is what we're looking for here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this and, oh, stupid map. There we go. All right, we need, uh, is it basalt? I think it's basalt is where we're gonna find our diamonds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to head straight down here, trying to not get eaten by a snake, a grim looking snake thing, trying to eat through the hole. Um, hello. Okay, you have a weird collision for some reason. Game's only been out forever and it still has a, what the heck? Why can't I? Okay, so there's one diamond. Boom, two diamonds. Okay, that's actually, that's actually really all I need. But let's go ahead and grab some magnetite. Let's grab a little bit more just in case, because we might need some more. Yeah, there's an artificial structure somewhere in the region. However, I am not ready for this area yet. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I don't want to swim around here yet. No, thank you. I'd much rather take my sea moth. But unfortunately, my sea moth is not rated for this depth, and I know better than to take it down there because I will lose it. So not fun. Um, okay, some lead. Oh, why couldn't it be silver? You know, lead is one of those things that you get so much of. 
You just don't really have a use for it. All right, so oh, let's go grab this thing while we're over here. Oh, there's our first Seamoth piece that we uh, could have gotten if I would have just followed the instructions, but you know, we don't follow instructions around. <laughs> All right, let's grab this PDA. Integrating new PDA. Data. Uh, life pod crew 17. Yep. And then let's see. So we had the Seamoth piece there, which we already have. I don't think there's any other pieces of anything here. So let's roll out and let's get a laser cutter made. I'm ready to get the laser cutter made. I want to get the laser cutter made. I honestly, I want to get the Aurora done just to get it done with because <laughs> I've done the Aurora so many times. It's just so not exciting anymore <laughs> to do. But you know what? Some people might love it. It is cool though. It is really cool to explore it. And like the first time, oh my gosh, the first time it felt like a maze. Oh, let's try not to get lost, but let's, let's get the laser cutter. Enough chit chat. I'm sorry. You know what we need? I need some bleach. We need some bleach water because I'm getting tired of having to, I'm getting tired of needing uh, water and bladder fish. I just need some salt. If I can just find some salt, we'll be good. We'll have bleach and then we won't have, I don't want to worry about this anymore. <laughs> Cause like as much as I love sucking bladder fish dry, I feel like salt would just be the better way to go. Here we go. All right, so there's a piece. There's a piece. Let's see, can I grab just one, one more, one singular piece? One more, anywhere. Salt. <laughs> that's fine. You know what? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's all I need. I think we, I think we now have bleach. Which actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's missing from. I think they took bleach out of Below Zero, didn't they? Which is actually kind of funny because Below Zero takes place so far after this game. Um, bleach. I thought it was two coral sample. All right, let's get some water now. And it gives us two larger water bottles, so you can't complain. Because that's a six ounce, this is a 12 ounce. Mm-hmm. Perfect, okay, so we got two water, we're good there. Let's see, let's go ahead and let's see what we need for our laser cutter. Diamond, battery, titanium, cave sulfur. Okay, so do I have any copper? Negative. I've got titanium, I've got cave sulfur. I don't have copper though. I have to go, let's go search for some copper. Let's see, copper, 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 copper. And let's see, where's a good spot for copper? Hmm. Let's just go down here. Where's the giant coral tube tunnel at? There's a giant coral tube tunnel that usually, I thought I had a whole bunch of outcrops on it. Okay, so I got a copper and I got uh, some mushrooms. So we should be able to go ahead and make our battery and get our fancy new laser cutter. And one laser cutter. All right, so we are good. We've got all the tools now. Now we literally have all the tools. Let's go ahead and let's get some things put away. And then let's get everything ready and we're gonna go to the Aurora. We're doing it. We're doing the Aurora today because why not? No, I need my knife. Need those, don't need that, don't need those. Did they make these water lockers bigger? Hmm, I almost feel like they did. Um, I also need my helmet and we'll leave the other helmet here because it just takes up a whole lot of room and I need some food. Um, You know what, we'll be fine. There's food there. <laughs> I already know there's food there. Let's go ahead and play a message and let's head out. Where's... There you are. Alright, right here. Ooh! Hold on a second. Um, we gotta scan some of these. Yeah, Cyclops engine fragment? That's kind of a big deal. Um, this is a bridge fragment, isn't it? Yeah, like that's also a big deal. I didn't realize these were right here. I knew, I thought I knew the engines were. Uh, am I in the, hmm. No, I mean, I'm kind of close. Like there's a chance that the Reaper Leviathan's right there, but. Uh, wow. The fact that we already got two Cyclops engine hole fragments, like that's, that's no joke. That's good stuff right there. I don't think there's any more though, because I think, well, hold on. No, there's not. I bet you, I think there is more. Pretty sure there is actually. Uh, the only problem is that there is a Reaper over here. And a lot of times, <laughs> a lot of times, this can be the first encounter with the Reaper. There's a bridge fragment right there. 
Where are you? Oh, there's another bridge fragment right there. Okay, hold on, we're grabbing him. I don't even care. I've seen the Reaper so many times. It'll still scare the absolute bejesus out of me. Uh, that right there is the bridge complete. Holy moly. This is the place to get these. Man, I always go over to the mushroom forest to get them all. And they're always such a pain to find because they blend in so well with like rocks and stuff. Yeah, there's Reaper Leviathan over there. Ha <laughs> ha, that's so cool. Let's see, I think we're still in the shallows for it. I think it's like, I think it's straight back in there. So we can find anything else like laying right here in this area. There he is, there he is. You giant fin face person thing. Now I'm leaving you alone. I don't want, I don't want nothing to do with you. <laughs> no thanks. You enjoy yourself. I am leaving. You know what I gotta say? I do have to give one thing to Below Zero though. Subnautica Below Zero, they did do one thing that um, this Subnautica did not. And that was to force you into situations where you had to deal with the larger, with the Leviathan type things. Um, this game, you can pretty much play the entire game without encountering any of the Leviathans, uh, except for obviously like the, the, the um, sea dragon. You have to encounter that one. And then like the, um, what the heck am I, what did I hit, a fish? Hey, can somebody explain to me? I still don't understand this. How is a sea moth that is probably made of steel and titanium capable of going 200 meters underwater? How come I hit a small fish and it's damaged? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it should be a little bit more, a uh, little bit more, a little bit stronger than that. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, Below Zero made you encounter those things. Whereas this game, you really don't have to encounter anything except for the sea dragon at one point, which is super easy. You don't even have to do anything. You just have to stay away from it. And the, obviously the sea empress. Um, but yeah, yeah, Below Zero made you, you like, every, every one of them, you had to go out and, uh, you had to have fun against it, so, I don't know, like, I kind of give them credit for that, because half the fun is in dealing with those giant beasties, and you just don't have to do that in this game. Life form readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Yeah, see, there's there's the giant fin face guy right there. I don't remember how to get up in here. Is it right here? Yeah, I think it's right here. I can get in here. Awesome. Okay, so we're in. And then I believe... Oh. What? Oh, I missed it. It's right here. suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Yeah, here we go. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's grab the fire extinguisher and our Kanife. All right. Let's do this. Oh, there's a lot of them. Nobody's eating me. Not today. I'll make Krabby Patties out of all of you. Oh, that's right. We didn't eat any food. We need to get, we need to, get to the spot where we get food. Ha, hi, ha, hi, ho, he, ho, ho. Ha, ha, hey, you're not eating me. Not today. All right, let's go. We gotta, we gotta get going. I need food. I need food stat. What do we got in here? Water, not what I needed. Hey guys, how's it going? Man, you guys moved in on this thing quick, didn't you? Show the digestive tracts of nearby life forms contain human tissues. <laughs> Means they were eating all the dead bodies. That's why you don't see any bodies anywhere because they got eaten. <laughs> That's terrible. First aid kit, very nice. All right, let's get going. I need some food here. <laughs> oh, really? I'm on fire? All right, let's see. Let's go ahead. Oh, let's grab this PDA. And we'll go ahead and scan this propulsion cannon fragment. And, uh, oh, look at that. Yep, we have to go get the black box data ourselves which is right in here. We've got so many things to scan here. Oh my gosh, we've got chairs, we've got desks, we've got trash cans. Uh, let's grab this battery. Give me the battery. All right, uh, take you, take this poster. You always have to take the posters. You always have to take the posters. You can't just not take the posters. Okay, I think that's everything here. All right, let's keep moving. We gotta get to the food. We're still starving. 
Oh, we're still starving. All right, and a little parkour action. And a, oh, come on! I was supposed to get that the first time I looked like a pro. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I look like an amateur. I hate you so much right now. I think it's only because I was expecting to get it the first try. What in the absolute? Okay, maybe, what? I didn't think you had to go this way. I'm pretty sure. No, I always go from there to here. Where do I go from this one? No, I always go on for this one. Maybe I need to look up what I'm doing. What? What? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? I'm gonna take my fins off. Can I run faster? Oh my God. You know what? I can't make it. I, I, I have no idea why. Um, I, I am actually, <laughs> I'm legitly wondering if it's because I'm hungry. Like if, am I hungry? Does it slow me down? And does it make my jumping less capable? You know what I mean? I'm gonna have to go back and eat something to come all the way back here to do that first try probably. Oh my gosh, that's so annoying. I've never, I've never ever had an issue with that. But I'm, I'm thinking that since I'm hungry that I'm moving slow. And then it's causing me to not be able to make that jump. All right, now that my food and water situation is good, let's go try this again. I, I, I have no idea. It's gotta be like, I, I just, I can't even imagine like what, what other, I can't, what, what else would be causing it? There's no way I could not get over that, that barricade. I have no idea why. I wonder if they made it like a checkpoint. Like, hey, you need to make sure that you don't have, you're not like food, like not, you're not hungry or thirsty beyond this point because you're not gonna be able to get back or something. I have no, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? Let's see if we can get over this stupid thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't understand. I always, that's how I always go. That's, I always jump that exact same way. Okay, so um, I'm convinced that they changed this. I am, I'm honestly, I've never, I've never ever had an issue getting past this point. You always run, you jump, you land on this, you jump over that and you're good. I honestly think that there was an update in the last, I don't know, since the last time I played, so probably the last two years, that is going to require me to now get the propulsion cannon. Um, because I've always, always, every single time, I've never had the propulsion cannon coming in here. I've always got it afterwards. But I always wondered because I was like, it's super weird because while you're in here, you get the uh, you get the blueprints for the repulsion cannon. I honestly think that they changed this. Now, can you, uh, comment down below. Let me know. It, let me know what you think. But I'm like almost I'm like 99 percent sure I always used to run and jump over this. Like, I don't even know if I used to run and jump. So like I'm almost making it. I it's I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if there used to be a crate there or if there used to be a crate here, but I'm like 90% sure. I'm almost 100% sure that I, I made this before. I, I know I did because I never ever used to. There was always a second exit. I never left out of it because it required the propulsion cannon. I think they moved it. After all this time, I think they changed it. <sighs> I honestly, I think they did. I think they did. So guess what? Now I have to go get a now I have to go get a propulsion cannon and try to go back in there because there's also there's actually a second entrance here too. Um, and we'll I'll stop and show you where the second entrance is at because you need the propulsion cannon for that entrance, which I never ever used to go into because this was the main entrance. I am like so I cannot I mean like I know they've they've pushed updates and changed things and fixed things since uh since you know like over over time, but like I'm just I'm I'm just amazed that that could have possibly been a change. I looked through the change logs. Um, I was, obviously didn't go through all of them. But there is another way in right here. If you go up, uh, let's see, if we go up right here. So like that was the main area right there, right? And then there's this area that has this stuff in the way. So you can actually use a propulsion cannon and move all this stuff out of the way too, um, which I never ever go in there because I never have the, I never have the propulsion cannon. Uh, so yeah, interesting stuff. Very interesting. I'm curious. To, I would. I want to know if they made that change. I really do. I really want to know if that that was a change that was made 
to maybe they maybe they never meant for people to get in that way and they finally were like you know what we're gonna fix it they need the propulsion cannon in order to get in here which is super weird because like i said i've cleared the aurora i don't know five times without it super weird oh there's a life pod right there huh well let's check it out once we come back all right i couldn't leave it alone this is my video from three years ago Okay, this is my video from three years ago. We're gonna see, I wanna see this stupid jump that I can't make right now, and I wanna see if it's changed, because I know it has. <laughs> I am petty, and I will know. Okay, here we go. Here we go, okay. It's there, there, see? Did they move this back? Serves me correctly. I think we have to do a little bit of parkour here. I think we have to jump over this. We'll worry about that one later. I think we have to jump to here. See? Look at how much further you jumped! I jumped all the way on- Okay, alright, they changed it. They absolutely changed it. There's no way. Did you see that? Look at this. I don't know if they moved the box, but like, look at how far much further we jump. We jump completely on top of that desk. They changed it. They absolutely changed it. I can't even believe that. I am- I am just disgusted. My god. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. Okay, um, so I need a wiring kit. Well, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess that's a thing. So, let's see, wiring kit, I need two silver, and what else do I need for that deal? Um, titanium. Okay, so let's just go grab some silver. Oh, man. Okay, uh, Seamoth, come with me. <laughs> we take you everywhere. The Seamoth goes, where do we go? Well, unless it's too deep, and then the Seamoth stays. <laughs> So let's see. Let's go down here. Let's get some uh, silver. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe that. This that that one thing has put me like so far behind in this episode now. Like we might just have to explore the Aurora in the next one. We got to prepare mentally now. Mentally prepare because I'm just I wasn't ready. I was not ready for that men for the mental parkour that I had to do just then. Um, oh, I probably uh, that's gold silver. Yeah, we got some silver. Okay, we got some more silver. Fantastic. Man, what else have they changed then? Jeez. Like, I mean, they changed something as as basic as that? Gosh, I don't even know what game I'm playing. I don't even recognize it anymore. Okay, I think we have everything. Boom, there's that. Let's go ahead and get our wiring kit. I mean, the propulsion cannon is really cool and it's a lot of fun to play with, but I just, I don't typically build it uh, for a while because I just don't typically need it. But it is a good time. It is fun to say. Uh, so let's see now. I want to see if this is how we get in here because like I am <laughs> I need to know <laughs> I'm telling you I feel like they I feel like they made you want to or whoop, that's the wrong way this way Is this the right way? Uh, no. <laughs> Where's I lost the Aurora guys. Oh wait, okay really though like where okay <laughs> All right, let's go over here We're gonna see if I can uh, we're gonna propulsion cannon our way in because I'm gonna tell you right now, if we can grab that stuff with a propulsion cannon to move it, then yeah, they absolutely changed it. Because you can't grab everything with a propulsion cannon. You can only grab like things that they intended you to do. You know, I like I can't just grab like that coral tube right there and just like throw it across the map. And like I think the thing like debris that's buried in the ground or whatever, I can't touch any of that either. So the debris that's in front of the door. Oh my gosh, the sneaky, sneaky developers. Those sneaky developers. You know what? I mean, this wouldn't be the first time they changed the entrance because there used to be an entrance actually right here. Uh, right on the other side of the sandbar, there actually used to be an entrance right down. Actually, it might have been right here. You used to be able to go that way and go underneath and uh, get into the Aurora that way too. But they uh, they filled that in with sand. I wonder if the entrance is still there and they just like filled it with sand. I wonder. Get in a free cam mode and... Uh, See if it's still there because it did. It used to be, I can't remember exactly where it used to be right here somewhere. All right, here we go. See, what's fun about this is they can go, you can, uh, you can shoot these guys out of the way. Boink, shoink. It's like, I mean, it's a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, and that's why there's so many batteries here. Boink, ha <laughs> ha, be gone, you evil crabs. <laughs> you know what? I'm actually glad that I brought this now. This is a lot more fun. Hey, guess what? You are going to get cooked. Yay! <laughs> be actually kind of funny if it cooked him and then you whoop, be gone. I think there was a Leviathan over there that's hungry. Uh, he wants to eat you too. Want some crab legs. <laughs> Little devils. Oh my gosh, my battery's like halfway dead already. That's okay, we grabbed a whole bunch of batteries on the way in here anyways. You know, I always wondered why they gave you so many batteries. Oh, son of a gun, you can grab stuff. So you can grab that. Okay, let's see. 
Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. We're gonna try, I'm gonna try jumping over it again. Because you just saw in the video, right? You just saw it. We jump from here. See, it doesn't look like they changed anything. All the way to on top of that. Yeah, not even close anymore. Wow. I can't even believe that. Never ever would have saw that change coming. All right, well, we're in the Aurora finally. Oh my gosh. Um, but we've got, man, we got so much to explore now. You know what? We're going to go ahead and we're going to wait till the next episode because if we don't, then I'm not going to have time. To, I'm going to have to cut out a whole bunch of stuff. And we're going to have a, we're going to take our time, have fun, have a good time. Uh, I can't even, I can't even believe that. Leave a comment. Let me know. Did, did you, can you find some changes that says anything? Cause I, I looked for the changes. I couldn't find anything, but that definitely, that definitely changed. They made a change and and it was it it messed with me it did it officially messed with me but that's it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you all had a wonderful day um if you did make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for some more i'm actually curious to see if there's any other changes in here now that we're gonna have to worry about as well so uh yeah make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so that way you can see the next episode but yeah we'll be back just as uh as soon as we can to keep things rocking and rolling but yeah thanks again have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody